Good evening. Spiritual formation requires routine and practice. The only, thing, the only thing worse than doing something simply out of habit is not doing it at all. Our Lord Jesus did certain things out of habit. He went to the synagogue on the Sabbath, as had been his habit since childhood, Luke 4, 16. He, when many people came to him, taught them as he was used to do, Mark 10, 1. And he went up Mount of Olives according to custom. Luke 22:29. When we read in Luke 5:16 that Jesus always secluded himself in lonely places to pray there, then it is clear to us that it was Jesus' habit to withdraw and isolate himself to be alone with his Father. Jesus also commands us in the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 6:6, 6, 6, when you pray, go to your inner room. Close the door and pray to your Father whom you cannot see. Your Father who sees what is hidden will reward you. Spiritual formation begins here, in your inner room, where you are alone with the Lord. I'm sure I can make this statement boldly. Not having such time or ceasing to have such time is the proverbial thin end of the wedge that Satan, the divider, drives in to make us, as believers, live away from the Lord. Time to be intentionally with the Lord. Time to listen to the Lord through His Word. Time to be quiet in prayer and talk to God. Time when other people do not intrude or on the conversation. It's inner room worship. It is time to withdraw from daily activities. Time to fix your identity with the Lord. Time to receive forgiveness and tune your life into the Lord's wavelength. It is time to confirm your calling with the Lord before you go out to be salt and light in the world again. Routine is a good thing in this. Whoever set aside, sets aside a fixed time for this is already far advanced on the path of spiritual formation. There is just never any spare time for this. A fixed place is not a bad thing either. It is striking how many times the Lord went up a mountain to pray. Five times in Matthew it is recorded. It was also his custom to go to the Garden of Gethsemane. Nature, if it can, can play a specific role in your prayer in your prayer life, because God also reveals himself in the creation. Related to inner room worship is a routine, quiet time for married couples, families in home worship, and believers in small group gatherings, and also Sunday worship services. Of course, fixed times are not, not all times when you live in a relationship with the Lord. We live before His face. We pray constantly. We grow with other believers. But just like an athlete training for a marathon will never get fit without routine exercise, we will never grow without routine relationship time with the Lord. Change therefore your routine today. Revamp your routine. Exercise regularly. Train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godliness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. Good night.